Not only is the 2021 NBA Draft loaded with talent, it's also loaded with Jalens. Both Gonzaga's Jalen Suggs to Duke's Jalen Johnson could be top five picks, but the somewhat forgotten Jalen, who hasn't benefited from the same shot of college hoops hype that his Jalen brethren have, is Merced County, California's Jalen Green. Jalen Green is no stranger to draft aficionados, as we've seen plenty of him at Prolific Prep, EYBL, and even in international play. But Green has chosen to bypass his freshman season of college to enter the NBA's one-year developmental program for elite prospects. The G League Ignite serve as a way for elite prospects to earn a payday they couldn't otherwise get in college while not having to travel overseas. Now, we're not quite sure how much film we'll be getting from the G League prospects throughout the season, so I thought we could dive into some tape of Green back in high school, in AAU, and the 2019 Under-19 tournament. So without further ado, welcome to the film sesh of Jalen Green. Jalen's most intriguing skill at the next level should be his shot-making ability. While the handle can be a little loose at times, he has enough wiggle and length to keep control and knock down tough shots. Green is perfectly content creating extra space by getting into a smooth step-back jumper, or his favorite, the jab step to the right into the one dribble pull-up to the left. We see the jab step again here, which Jalen went to quite frequently in FIBA play. When Jalen gets into his shot coming off the screen, he loves going, you guessed it, left. Love the little in-and-out cross to bait the defender into the screen before the shot. Look, if Jalen starts driving to the left, there is a significant chance that he's going to let it fly. How he gets into the jumper, though, is the fun part. Right to left cross here, defender makes the mistake of going under, and Green calmly knocks it down. Look, Jalen isn't Clay Thompson, but you have to get up on him. Jalen often is willing to settle for the long jumper, so you have to at least make an effort. Get a hand up, run out, something to make it harder on him. The high school game is much more unstructured than what we saw from Jalen in FIBA play, so he was a bit more chucky with the shot selection, often getting a little dribble happy and settling for tough jumpers. While Green has some things to work on functionally with the jumper, like his slight chicken wing, something I'm sure they're working with him on with the G League Ignite, his catch and shoot numbers should help stabilize the percentages overall. While Jalen may settle for jumpers sometimes, that doesn't mean that he isn't a willing attacker. He's a shifty and creative ball handler who has a number of ways to finish at the hoop. When he has a full head of steam, usually by using his explosive first step, he's a nightmare to stay in front of and has no problem driving right through your chest. Jalen will attack with a fearless and ferociousness with the goal to put you on a poster. Now, while Green shows off the creative handle here, he does need to improve his touch with his left hand. We saw earlier that he usually pulls up in these situations. Those left-handed finishes are a work in progress. Now, normally a guy like Jalen Green, who's a dynamic shot maker off the bounce, can tend to get a little lazy off ball. But Jalen is super adept at finding little openings in the defense and slithering through for easy baskets at the rim. He uses crafty little change of direction and backdoor cuts to put himself in position for some freebies. Jalen misses the oop here, but you can see him getting at least one of these Jimmy Butler-esque backdoor buckets a game. Jalen is an athletic freak, and the most immediate area he'll make an impact on on an NBA court is as a transition threat. Green runs the floor like a freaking gazelle and will be more than just a dunker, as you see the pretty footwork on this Euro. Green can finish off the pass or attack and transition off the bounce. Great patience, great extension, great left-handed finish on this one. We mentioned how hard Jalen attacks the hoop in the half court, but he'll generate his share of free throws in transition as well. Green isn't one of the 2021 class's premier passers by any stretch, but transition attack allows him to operate in more space and make basic reads for his teammates. You see the pass just a little off here. Again, he's not a natural passer. This is an encouraging pass because it shows timing, touch, and good feel. And this is probably Jalen's best look that I found watching his tape. In great position to protect the rim, grabs the board off the block, and then threads the needle on a one-handed live dribble half-court laser to his teammate cutting in transition. The half-court is another story, and one of Jalen's biggest improvement areas. Doesn't have the natural feel of a playmaker. Jalen will draw defenses to him because of his scoring, so he'll still get easy assists just moving the ball, but he's mainly a basic drive and kick, one read kind of passer right now. Now, he has shown flashes of advanced reads, so hopefully it's something he's working on with the G League Ignite. But as it stands, you're mainly going to see more little drop-offs than pick-and-roll goodness. But again, the ability is there if he wants to unlock it, and it would really take him up a level as a prospect if he does. However, it'll involve patience because it will be a process. 
Jalen may even look somewhat turnover prone in that kind of role as he often tries to slip passes through tight spaces, which doesn't always go that well. But often the turnover actually comes from the pass he doesn't make as he's prone to dribbling into tight spaces. Jalen shows off some fancy ball handling here to get into the paint, which is certainly impressive, but he completely misses his wide the fuck open teammate getting stripped and turning it over. Great job showing off his grab and go ability on this possession, but it ends in a strip turnover again when he has a few passing options available. On the other side of the ball, the kid has the potential and ability to be a damn stud. Jalen could easily rest because of his offensive load, but when it was time to get in a stance and defend, he was on it. Green has an elite ability to move his feet and switch his stance, and then you add on the impeccable timing and length to contest shots, and you have a monster defender. We see another example here, just locked in and times the contest perfectly. Jalen feels the screen, quickly switches his stance, and forces the shooter into a tough contested step back. When the offensive player does drive, Jalen moves well enough laterally to stay hip to hip, and then uses that length to block the shot. And I love the effort he gives fighting through screens gets himself back in the play, and forces his man right into the help. Gets over the screen again here, keeps his hands active, getting his hand on the ball, and then helps off his man a bit and gets his hand in to clearly strip the ball away, leading to the turnover and almost to the other way. This next clip shows some very good and some bad. Jalen has awesome feet on closeouts and usually stays on his feet, like in the first instance, but then he gets caught biting on the pump fake on the second closeout. But he's usually pretty disciplined, just great footwork here. Quick stance switch and forces the ball handler right into the help. In a league so three-point heavy, strong closeouts to shooters is a huge asset. Jalen's length and athleticism really pops when he's off ball as he has a knack for getting into the passing lanes. And when he breaks out like that, it's showtime. On this possession, Jalen ends up switched onto the big in the post and he does a good job bodying up and then using his length to intercept the entry pass. Just fighting here, won't let the inbounder off the hook full extension tipping the ball away. And again with the length and anticipation blowing up the DHO. Now ability to play the passing lanes is great, but it often leads to some issues like over gambling and giving up an open three. Or gambling and giving up a backdoor cut for a layup. Jalen gets bailed out here by some great weak side help, but man did dude bite on that little pump fake leading to an almost free bucket at the hoop. This possession wasn't necessarily his fault as the team defense in general was sloppy, but in high school games, Jalen's awareness was a little less focused than it was in FIBA play. But in a more structured environment, the dude was really locked in, calls out the switch, keeps his head on a swivel, tags the roller, and gets back out to his man. Another strong possession off ball, knows where the ball and his man are, gets hit with a screen, but fights through and keeps his head moving so he doesn't lose the ball or his man, and finishes off using his length to cause the turnover, leading to a parry dunk. One final team D possession, Jalen picks up full court, calls out the switch, fights over the screen and gets his hands up, digs down on the drive, gets a little turned around but quickly finds himself and is right in his stance, then beats his man to the spot, forcing a retreat, another smooth switch and fights for inside rebounding position. Even on a make, this was a great defensive possession for him. Look, Jalen Green has all the potential in the world to be an all-star caliber player. He's got the athleticism and the smooth jumper, he'll have great measurables, he's getting NBA level training here ahead of time, and it'll be fun to see how the Ignite develop his game ahead of the draft. But one thing's for sure, with a tailor-made NBA game, Jalen Green will be one of the most sought-after names in the 2021 NBA class. Thanks for watching the Hardwood Herald on YouTube. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Hoops content.